funded by National Institute for Health Research, NIHR, UK. We are honored to have with us Mr. Bharat Joshi, Deputy High Commissioner, British High Commission, Chennai. Mr. Joshi joined the Ford on, the, on one hand and Tamil Nadu, Kerala and Pondicherry on the other. of the genetic basis of phenotypic traits and complex diseases. A host of recognitions. We have been awarded the best standalone. About, um, about a, a, a collaboration that we are we're now uh, engaging and in, in inaugurating today uh, between the UK and India, between more specifically uh, the, the group at Dundee. Forward with this. Now, Dundee is a, it is a, a, a small city in, in Scotland. It's, it's famous for various things. Um, it's famous for it's known historically for its three J's: jute, jam, and journalism. And uh, jute is the first one, which was the big, real historical connection to India. Share a drink. This precision medicine, and I want to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that this is nothing new. If you really think about it, this has been going on, but we didn't put a name for it and we didn't recognize it. Do we all get the same blood? If we needed blood, do we all get the same blood? No, I think many, many, many years ago, we realized that human beings have an A group and a B group and an O group and an AB group and there's positive and there's negative and we have to do grouping and cross matching. So you just don't go and get any blood, you have to do that. That's already the start of precision medicine. But then what happened? How did the field move on? The field moved on because of many things which happened simultaneously. The first thing was that the human genome was sequenced. And of course it's a big achievement, but we thought that that's going to be the end all of all medicine. Then we realized to our horror and to our great humility that that's just the beginning and we haven't even scratched the surface when we understood the human genome. But that was a big step. And then new fields started evolving. We know of genomics. But what about proteomics? What about metabolomics? And metabolomics is a new field which we are going to start at the Madras Diabetes Research Foundation. MedGenome is our collaborator in that and we will be very soon setting up a whole lab of metabolomics. So you can understand every metabolic reaction which is going on in your body. It's a new field. And then of course you have various cellular assays and so on. <laughs> Sir, sir, sir. Oh, okay. 